Like, even I am not into all of this stuff and I could picture time better than that. Hey there, explorers and adventurers, it's Moscow bringing you another video. Today we are going to be reacting to DuckTales, Season 1, Episode 13, Day of the Only Child. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I am um, just started to recover from jet lag when I then had to get my whole flat gutted and cleaned because I had three friends coming to stay with me for Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift just happened on Saturday. I literally drove them all the way through. There was a whole horrific thing with the trains yesterday. Dropped them off yesterday. Today's my new working day. I've not really had the chance to properly rest. So if I'm a little bit sluggish and slow on the uptake of things, that is why. If there's a joke and it takes me a couple of seconds afterwards for it to land into my foggy brain, that is why. I just need to explain that. Also, hi, by the way, happy Pride Month. I have limited edition merch like this. Hydrate, it's a bit hard to see. You can see it better in person, by the way. It's easier to see in person. But it's Hydrate or Die Straight Mug, which is limited edition on my merch store. I also have like little pocket Hamish t-shirts in each of the nine different or eight different, I think it was, Hamish, is it eight? Eight different pride flags as the little pockets. So please make sure that you go and check that out. The link will be in my bio. Also, I'm offering a seven day free trial to my Patreon where I've started reacting to Steven Universe as the Patreon exclusive. So please make sure you take advantage of all the stuff that's happening this Pride Month on my channel. Go check this stuff out. All the information will be in the video description down below. It's been like four weeks since I last watched The Dark Tales, but I did manage to scrub back through the last episode just to kind of catch myself up back up. So the whole spear of Selene thing, we found out that Selene doesn't have a spear. She has a sphere, which she gave to Dewey. I don't know if that's going to come back up in this episode. Judging by the title, I highly doubt it. I feel like it's going to be one of those plot points that's dropped again for a little while and will come back up in another couple of episodes. But who knows, maybe it'll surprise me. So Celine gave him the sphere where there were some memories of his mother sitting in there and she was really good friends with his mother. We don't seem to have any confirmation as to what's happened to her yet. She's just gone missing. I don't think she's dead. I'm calling like a Hey Arnold level thing happening here. Here where I think, like, he Arnold's parents going missing, doing adventure stuff. I think that's what's happened to her. I don't know if she's going to come up at the end of the season, next season. I have no idea. It could be the final cl climactic thing for this season. But I also know that Webby said in the last episode that maybe the Spear of Selene isn't a physical object. Although I do think they've got the sword that his mum had. I think that was what Dewey had in the last episode. I'm convinced of that. So maybe the Spear of Selene is something else. I feel like it's going to take Scrooge or or Donald to give us some of those results, like some of that information. They know a lot more about it than they're telling the kids or us as the audience, and I would like to know. Anyway, either way, I'm excited to get stuck in. Don't forget to thumbs up video, click subscribe to join me on this journey if you want access to the full, raw, early uncut version of my reactions, and I tend to be an episode or two ahead. Don't forget to click the link in the video description down below. It will take you to my Patreon, where there's a seven day free trial for you to go in and sign up. But that is enough fanning around, so here it is, and we're going to click play and get started. Let's go. Do you have the only child. Okay, so is this going to be a Dewey focused episode then? You guys! Scrooge just got a new security button and can melt through solid steel and it is adorable! It's adorable! Wait. Right, that, that's going to be important. She just talked about the security bot and now it's just gone away. So the security bot's coming back up at some point, maybe in this episode it's maybe going to help them with something. We'll um, see. I'm an only child. Ah, uh, today. Oh, no. is... Wait, must be in some sort of dystopian alternate dimension. Today is the day is of and the exactly only child. Evil good Samaritans, you restored my faith in the kindness of random strangers. Not even one hour in and your stupid only child day has already almost gotten one of us killed. Wow, I love the reaction to this. Well, he's just like, mm-hmm. And Huey's like, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. Okay, so this is a thing that Dewey does. All right, interesting. Oh, do all the amazing things that an only child gets to do. Okay. Make marks on the world. Not have to answer to anyone. Be horribly alone. <laughs> Oh, okay, so both Louie and Dewey seem on board with us, but Huey doesn't like it. Cute, okay. I to do it for years. I'm gonna have to explain myself to you. I'm an only child. I don't get why you're doing this. Isn't being a triplet awesome? I just want to use a rich kid for his infinity pool. Oh. Why can't I have that for myself? <laughs> Louie, what is he like? Okay. And this is 
exactly. It, you know, it's really going to be an interesting character study on like triplets and stuff like that because it is hard sharing every aspect of your life with somebody else, but also good as well. It's good and bad. I say that because my little brother and sister are twins too, and I've had to watch them both struggle and like like it. Like there's elements I know that they love about being a twin, and elements that I think they wish they could have changed. Like for me, as somebody that helped raise them, I would have loved the fact that both their birthdays were not on the same day. Thank you. It's so fucking expensive. Like Christmas is bad enough, let alone having their birthdays on the same day. Stupid Dewey. Why can't I just have brothers that blindly listen to me for once? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. I don't say this enough, but I sure do love being a trio. Ooh, like the three legs on his tripod. Even oh. three cheers. If I don't participate, I'll never get my commemorative cookout badge. That means a lopsided sash launch pad. Sorry, but it's the three-man cookout. I didn't get to be a troop leader by bending the rules. You're the troop leader? See, I thought maybe for a second there that maybe Hugh had managed to convince Launchpad to like come along with him. This is a slow brain thing that I was talking about before. I'm so sorry guys, this isn't happening. You're seeing it in action. Okay, that is a really poorly pitched tent. Like even I am not into all of this stuff and I could pitch a tent better than that. Which is the point obviously because it's Launchpad. Do you know what? Elijah started reacting to DuckTales as well. So if you don't know who she is, she goes by Not So Average Fangirl and she's brilliant. And she's been reacting to DuckTales. She's just started. I highly recommend going to check out her reactions because she said right in our episode one reaction that he reminds her of Kronk. And now I can see it. Now I'm like, I can't unsee that at all. So I wonder, are we going to get the scene of him like sleeping under the, the same way that Kronk did with his tiny little tent. That would be hilarious and it would just make what she said even fucking funnier. We can't nab all four of those brats. We could definitely nab one. Uh, big time. We're starting to make Great. Them, uh, unhealthy. Good luck. There is something I'd like to say. Bonk, bonk, yeah. Get moving! Unless you can find two other scouts. Ooh, how about them? Wow. And what are your names, mysterious oh, no. I've never seen before? This is not going to end Two. well. Those are the Beagle Boys in disguise. Junior Woodchuck. <laughs> I love how Huey just knows instantly. Oh, could you not ask Webby? Webby would probably love to help you. She seems like the kind. And then the bot, the security bot. There you go. Never speak ill of a fellow woodchuck. Unless you don't want that badge. Definite badge. Possible definite badge. Definite badge. Definite badge. Definite badge. <laughs> Huey. <sighs> I'm gonna get captured. I'm at least gonna be captured right. If you can't even build a proper pit trap, then how do you expect us to earn our cookout badges? Here, let me show you. Yeah, he's going to show them how to build one properly. Wow. There it goes. There it is. Yep, there it is. Are they actually going to start to really like him? Like the two that are with him right now because they're so sick of getting bossed around by the other brother. So they're going to like, their family dynamic needs a bit of healing energy just the same way that Huey and his brothers need a bit of healing energy as well. Is that what this is about? It's quite cute. I like it. He's showing them. He's helping them so much. Yeah, there it goes. Wow, it was so good. Ooh. Yep, that's <laughs> back into the pitfall again. <laughs> never have gotten this done so fast or you know even tried so what do you want to eat you want me to choose yeah you earned it it's only fair always be fair to your fellow woodchucks no i, I think i know something okay let's see what he got that does not look good junkyard stew mm, is that cumin yeah it complements the root vegetables. Really? I don't know if he's just saying that just to be kind because it looked fucking horrific. It had a tin can in it. Can we talk about that? <laughs> ah, that was such a bad pun. Oh, I could have done so much better than that. I could have done, like, I could have... <sighs> brain fog, guys. I'm blaming it on the brain fog, okay? I'll do better next time. Uh, and we should ask you if he wants to be snatched first. Ask? Oh. You numbskulls can't do it. I'll grab them myself. We oh. can't let you. Yeah, they're not. Yes. What are you doing? Yes, good. A junior woodchuck looks out for his fellow woodchucks. That's true. But. He's but. He's gonna get killed. He's your brother. We like you better, you big time. You'll love it back in the junkyard. Oh, this overhead news is perfect. Why they have to actually pay attention to me? Do I never want to make this right? Ah! <laughs> Oh, now they're chopping down the tree. Fantastic. Which I'm sure you pretty much helped with. Don't climb now. Oh, God. 
good, 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 good. This is horrific. Oh, are we going to get like the side of each of the triplets on their day and they're all going to miss each other? Like Huey clearly was really enjoying what he had there, but at the same time, he probably is missing aspects of his brothers right now. Okay, so we're going to see Louis. I wonder if we're going to get the whole it's being rich and stuff is not all it's cracked up to be. And then what's Dewey's storyline going to be? Interesting. Okay. Greetings. I am Sir Louis Duck, Esquire the Third, your well-to-do neighbor and Scrooge McDuck's only nephew. I am here to meet fabulously wealthy Doofus Drake. <gasps> oh, cool. Oh, wow. Holy shit. And it's like he gets whatever he wants. Yeah, he does. No one says no to Master Doofus. No one. You want to be friends with this guy? Really? <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself, Sir Louis Duck Esquire the Third. The this guy. Nephew of Scrooge McDuck. I was expecting him to be cool looking, you know, like Scrooge. Scrooge wears wealth well. This duck does not. I figured it was high time that we rubbed elbows and. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What the fuck is wrong with him? Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Yeah. Okay. I like to play with my friends. No, that sounds wrong. What does that mean? I like to play with my friends. Is he going to put this on and it's going to be like some sort of like mind controlling, turn him into something that he can play with? Let's play! Yeah, I don't trust it. I just don't trust it at all. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> Literally living the dream. I mean, it does look great. It's like me when I go to fucking Elijah's. She's got like a pool and all sorts and at her place and like, it's so nice. It's just like, I'm like, oh, this is living in luxury. Gym, pool, all sorts of stuff nearby. This is fucking glorious compared to me. I have to swim everywhere in Scotland, but not in the fun pool way, just in the rain is terrible kind of way. This is where I come to blow off steam. Is that an original Stradivarius violin? That's worth more than every house Uncle Donald has ever owned. Are you nuts? Aren't you afraid you'll get in trouble? Can you bring yourself to do it? Ooh, wait a minute, wait, 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 what was that? People think you're crazy because they can't stop you anyway. Okay, no. I think this is just based off of an actual painting there. I had a moment where I just thought that like one of the ducks in there might have been relevant, but I don't think so. No, that's uh, uh, one that he can. No one touches her portrait. No one. Is that funny to you? There's a turn. There's a kicker. So you're his butler, huh? Uh, my butler's a ghost. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. We're dead yes. inside. Oh. <laughs> We're dead inside. Wow. Yeah, no wonder. This kid clearly is like in need of some serious fucking discipline. That he's not getting. That he needed like yesterday. And the day before. And the week before. And the month before. And the year all oh, every oh just all the time. He yeah. used to be such a sweet boy. Yeah, what happened? The money and power changed him. Yeah. <laughs> That's not terrifying at all. But that bracelet, it's gonna be something to do with the bracelet. It's getting a little late and uh, so I'm just gonna head home. Finally remember all the good times we had. Cool, all right, bye. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was gonna have relevance. Oh. The sooner you give up, the better. Hope only makes it worse. No, if the three of us work together, we might just be able to get out of here. Are you with me? Yeah, good, thank God. I don't think I like you anymore, new friend. What is he gonna do with the umbrella and walnuts? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous too. Oh! Oh, look, there's a tree! Hi! Uh, I'm safe. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> the fucking butler! Why was that so funny? The fucking butler! The watch butler. Oh my god, so is it going to take Dewey to save the two of them then when he decides to recognize their fucking existence? Okay, extension cord. Sorry, yes. Are you sure? Security bot does not seem to think so. They'll never know my darkest secret. Okay, what are you doing? Alive from Duck Matter, home to the most celebrated duck in Duckburg, 
Time and also screwed me to it's Dewey the Night tonight. Laughs, thrills, a visit from old Scott's Hussy. He's hosting his own late night live <laughs> talk show. I bet you this is what kids nowadays do. Like, but like webcam stuff and pretending to be YouTubers. Is this how like most modern kids play? Is doing stuff like this? Like back when I, back when I was their age, I used to play with like all my figures. I'd like Hamtaro figures and Dalmatian figures and dinosaur figures and I'd make like a big massive city in my room for them all. I'd have restaurants and cafes and doctor places and the whole, like, it would take me two hours to set everything up and then I'd play for hours and then at night it would take me like an hour or two to tidy it all away again before bed. Are you sure about that? I think it's going to backfire. He's having way too much fun with this. Cool, 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 cool. This is, of course, a sample episode of our totally amazing show. Warm round of applause to my first guest and former bro, Huey. Ah, so we're acknowledging their existence now. Hey, Huey, thanks for coming on the show. Let me check the junior woodchuck guidebook. Hello, Dewey. Thanks for having me. He knows his brother so well. He's gonna, he's gonna slowly miss him over the course of this and play him by himself, isn't he? Things are better in threes, threes, threes. Weird. Super weird. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. Yeah, Here we go. super weird. What's your name? Dewey, do, do you love calendars? Bum, bum. I am here to destroy. Ah, I will eat your building. He's having way too much fun with us. I will pet your cat. The bagpipes have just lost it. It's interesting to see how he sees both his siblings as well. Like he sees Huey as a bit of a duck, eh, like a bit of a duck, a bit of a robot. Whereas Louis, this. <laughs> Why is she, man? Oh God. Yes, yeah, this is what siblings are like. Oh no. The security oh, no. bot's going to be like, yeah, fuck. Aww. <laughs> I got the all oh, exactly the same. Okay, so Dewey is the middle one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That would explain a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, here comes your your robot. He's just playing. He's a child. Leave him alone. Pewie, you got a plan, right? Sorry, I'm technically you, and since you don't have a plan, neither do I. You? Yep. Stupid only child day. Yeah, you're missing them now, buddy, aren't you? Perhaps you shouldn't have pushed your brothers away. Maybe appreciate that fact because certain people would do anything to have siblings. No one you know. Certain hypothetical people. Webby. I was gonna say, I was like, who the fuck is that? I was. Webby. Okay. Oh, I just jammed it open and ripped out a bunch of wires to make room. What were you doing? What in the fucking five days at Freddy's loving shit? Jesus, Webby. Okay, so we just found out a little bit about Webby there then. She would have given anything to have had siblings. We still don't really know what happened to her parents and why she's being raised by her granny. Hmm, interesting. I'm sorry, but you guys just got here. I don't want you splitting up. Hmm. Webby. Uh, behind you. Put your hands in the air. You have 20 seconds to comply. We're complying. What is it, Z? We're complying. I, uh... Sort of cut some of its processing circuits. Oh no. Oh no, okay, are we taking it to where we need it most though, which is at the the place where they're all being held storage? Good, thank goodness, perfect. Oh, and the brothers are back together. Just in time. <laughs> oh, there they are. Yes, they're gonna need each other for this. Oh, they're like taking care of each other's problems. Oh. Super cute! Perfect, Huey. Well done. Well done, Huey. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just can do so much better than that asshole. Like, kick up to the curb. Because you're the Beagle Boys. And who in this world can antagonize you more than your own brothers? Oh, please. Like that's gonna yeah, it will. Again. Yeah, because Louis got his way with words. Because it's Louis. We need each other. Yeah, I love being a triplet, but we still have to be our own people. 
Well, yes, you very much are. Like, an absolute disaster after all. like you very much are your own people, a hundred percent your own people. Like you're so different, so unique, and I think that's another thing that I just absolutely love about the show's writing. Okay, so what was the joke he not. just said? They never were. I guess only Child Day wasn't an absolute disaster after all. And then the house is going to collapse or something. It's just going to sit on fire. Uh, sibling calendar? Yeah. So, uh, how much did you see? You know, when you when you came into my room? Oh, nothing. Good. A lot of it. A horse, man. <laughs> yeah, she saw enough. She saw enough. <laughs> Okay, so we found out then Webby's like always wanted- I wonder if at some point then they're gonna- she's gonna start to be integrated into them and their family a little bit more and like they'll act a bit- well they already are acting like siblings with her but more and more and more, you know, if that'll even be something that they would maybe talk about, that would be super cute. If they were like, yeah, you know, you're like a sister to us, that would be so fucking sweet if they did. You know, like, cause people would, people have like adoptive, like, see when you, have you ever had a best friend that was such a best friend when you were younger, like so close to you, that not only did your parents see them as a second child, but you saw them as a sibling, you know? Like, I've had that, I've had that experience before. But yeah, anyway, I fucking love this show, man. It's super cute, it's really nice. As I, as expected, this episode had nothing to do with the search for their parents or anything, cause I feel like we pick up the threads, drop them for a couple episodes, then pick them back up again. So I wonder if the next thread we're gonna pick back up after this is going to be the Aunt Magica thread because it's been a while since we've had that whereas the last episode was all about their mum so it's probably going to be like this episode the next episode's probably going to be another one like this and then it'll be the next episode after that that I think we'll be picking up either the Aunt Magica plotline or the Spear Celine mother plotline again yeah it was really cute I really enjoyed that I love this show it's such an easy little watch for me if you've enjoyed the reaction don't forget to thumbs up click subscribe and remember you've got that seven day free trial to my Patreon so if you want access to the full 36 minute long version of this reaction you can click the link in the video description down below and also whilst you're down there don't forget to click the link to get some of the uh, limited edition pride merchandise for this month as well but that's all I've got time for so I'll see you next time with another video and until then haste you back guys